A Northeast Ohio Republican congressional candidate is now suing an ex-girlfriend for defamation. This after she came forward about abuse allegations. Former Trump aide <laughs> Stephanie Grisham alleges that Max Miller, who is running for the congressional seat now held by Anthony Gonzalez, physically abused her the day they broke up. Marissa Science has details and reaction. A Washington Post op-ed released this morning taking critical aim at one Ohio congressional candidate. The article by Stephanie Grisham, one-time White House press secretary for former President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump, talks about her book, released today, which goes on record about an unnamed abusive ex-boyfriend who also worked in the White House. This is what she said on CNN this afternoon. As you talk about, and actually I talk about today, you know, I had an ex that I dated and there was um, abuse in every way there. And um, that's something I actually told the president and the first lady about. The person you're talking about, you don't name him in the book, but his name is Max Miller. He is running for Congress. I didn't put his name in there um, on purpose because I've moved on. And look, if there's anything I can take away from this experience, it's that I am you know, I'm almost stronger than ever now. Following Grisham's article and remarks, Max Miller and his attorney, Larry Zuckerman, filing a defamation lawsuit. The 13-page complaint citing grounds that the Washington Post article is, quote, replete with libelous and defamatory false statements about Miller. Also calling the article the, quote, malicious attempt to secure personal financial gain by selling books as a retaliation against those associated with the Trump administration and a, quote, failed stint as White House press secretary. In a statement late this afternoon, Zuckerman told me that Grisham is, quote, trying to destroy Mr. Miller's reputation, political career, and personal life with her false allegations. He went on to say, quote, a thorough and independent investigation will confirm that Ms. Grisham has no proof to corroborate her allegations. Miller and Zuckerman also filed a restraining order in an effort to keep Grisham from speaking about the allegations any further. According to court documents, the judge did deny that request. A hearing in the case has been set for next week. And one more thing, Russ, in his statement this afternoon, Zuckerman said that the allegations are retaliation for him, quote, breaking her heart by ending their relationship and subsequently becoming engaged to Emily Marino, whose father, Bernie Marino, is a senatorial candidate. Okay. Marissa Science in the newsroom. Thank you.